The internet of me is uh, an idea which I first came across about three years ago and it's intrigued me and um, I've written a couple of reports about it and quite a few articles about it ever since. It's also known as a personal data economy, the API of me, me to be, it's got various different names. And the, the essence of the idea is that um, at the moment we have our data flung all over the place. Um, we have data with uh, Amazon, with Facebook, with our banks, with our hospitals, our, uh, all sorts of places. We don't really know what they're doing with our data, we don't know how much they've got. And that worries us a little bit. Sometimes we, we want to share our data in order to get a better service or a better product. Um, but how can we trust those, those organisations to look after our data responsibly, responsibly? So the Internet of Me is this new idea that perhaps the best organisation, for want of a better word, to store and, and, and uh, be the receptacle of our data is ourselves. So if there was some technological way that we could gather all of our data together in one place, then we could share that on our terms with the brands that we trust. And we'd win because we'd get all of the good personalization and discounts that we like. The brands would win as well because they wouldn't have to store our data anymore with all the hacking, security, privacy worries that go with that, all the legal implications as well. But they would get this, exactly the same information as before. In fact, it would be better because it would be up to date and more complete. So what we really need is a way to make that happen. Now. A small number of companies are trying to advance that idea and they're known as PIMS, Personal Information Management Services. There's quite a few of them out there. And obviously it's very early days and this is a big experiment. But the idea is that they, they enable you to gather your data in one place in a safe way. And these companies don't store that data, they're just enabling you to do it. Their challenge is to get all of these brands and enterprises to develop protocols that interact with uh, the place that you've stored your data so that they can come into that data store, find the information they need without taking it away and then make decisions and, and enact processes that help you. If it works then it means that we all get the benefit of the data economy without the privacy and security issues. And so do the enterprises. And I think one of the other interesting ideas for the enterprise is that it, it means the end of the data advantage. So at the moment, Amazon and Facebook and, and, and Google have a big advantage over smaller competitors because of the amount of data they've accrued on us. If you have this new idea of the Internet of Me or whatever you want to call it, then smaller brands can get exactly the same amount of data as uh, these bigger ones. And um, that means that we can pick and choose. We don't have to sacrifice any of the personalization or the discounts that we got before.